By the 19th century, Sudley Castle had fallen into ruin and was saved by a remarkable woman named Emma Dent. Sudley archivist Derek Maddock curates many of the exhibits that feature Emma Dent's life's work. Emma Dent produced the bulk of what you see around the castle. She was the big acquisitor of, of right. things and bought things that she loved. And that's what you have in these exhibition halls. That's what we have in these right? immediate areas, yes. This right. is the Emma Dent story, if you like. The Emma Dent story. In the 1830s, Sudley was purchased by a wealthy pair of brothers, John and William Dent. They made their fortune in the glove business and sank it into a grand restoration program. Their nephew, John Dent, inherited the castle in 1856 and continued his uncle's work. But it was his wife, Emma, who really pushed the envelope. She transformed the gardens and began to avidly collect all sorts of curios, including what is now considered to be one of the most important collections of textiles in the UK. So there's some wonderful collections we have around here. Um, so for instance, perhaps we could have a look at right. the pedometer. Oh. Have you got a Fitbit? Um, I do have a Fitbit. But I didn't know that those existed back in the Victorian oh, yes. age. Here we have the latest thing in fitness technology. Oh, my god. Emma Dent's gosh. pedometer. Uh, so where would this go on Fits her body? Fits on your hip, and every time you take a step, it <gasps> registers a step. So she did 1,200 miles in 1895, oh. and every year she records how far she walked. That is incredible. I didn't even know that that existed. Seeing these trinkets and curios on display, I can't help but think that Emma Dent had a serious hoarding habit. And almost 200 years later, it's paying off. So I want to know just how these eclectic collectibles impact Sudley's bottom line. Seeing your exhibitions, I mean, they're perfectly set up. Has this been a huge thing in helping to bring in visitor numbers? Yeah, we renovated this entire space last year, and it seems to have certainly picked up the numbers. We've got roughly numbers going from 70,000 to 90,000. Since uh, you renovated? Since we renovated. You've gone up 20,000 visitors. 20,000. That's incredible. So that was definitely worth the investment. Public visitors now make up almost half of Sudley's annual income. But this castle is no cheap date. It costs £2 million a year just to keep Sudley running. So, to attract more visitors, the family have opened up some of their private rooms. Though perhaps less than ideal for Lady Ashcombe, it's great news for the visitors.